What's going on, YouTube? This is Parker Lad 88 coming at you with another video. Today I'm joined by Neo Dark Guy for the third time. Uh, what People, you got? It's not gonna get that reference. Nah. What you got for us, Neo Dark Guy? Oh, um, Kagura. I'm pretty sure it's Kagura for the third time doing this. Kagura. Yeah. You are gonna be profiling for us? Yep. All right then. Let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. Go ahead. So. Our starter is Lizard Hero Undo. Um, it's a forerunner with the ability at G Break 1, a Counter Blast 1. I put him into the soul and I search either the Great or the Legend. Or any other Kagura card, really. It has to have Overlord in the name. But since I'm running the Great the Legend, I search him. Next up, we have four Mother Orb Dragons, the Heal Trigger. It heals us. Next, um, we run four draws and eight crit, so we run Gatlin Claw Dragon. Gatlin Claw Dragon because I can call it. Counter Blast 1, put it into Soul and pop a Rear Guard Starter because most of them are at G is at J Break 1 as well, and this is not. So I kill them before they get their effects off. Next, the bane of my deck's existence. Jeanette. No, the draw triggers. Oh, the draw triggers. Okay. Yeah. Um, four copies of Jeanette, because it's the Blade Master trigger, and when Titan comes out, I'm going to be running Titan in the extra deck as well. But as of right now, it's just a vanilla crit. And then four copies of Seal Dragon, Tarplin, um, Draco Kid. Jail Kagero. Jail Kagero, indeed. I used to run Seal Dragon, so I decided to put them in. And since Berlera is vanilla and this has an effect, I'm running this instead. So, it's also a flame dragon, so uh, that I means it's searchable off the legend, so hence why it's in the deck. Now, off to our grade ones. Like Two copies of Monica, because Monica is a 10k booster at G Break 1, and I really don't want to ride into her, so I end up having her boost um, <coughs> here my Vanguard or my flame dragon rear guards, so it's really helpful. Then, three copies of Lava Flow Dragon, the Strata Sister. Beach for 7k, and since I don't run Blade Master, it's kind of useless outside that point. Yes. <laughs> Favorite grade one in the deck? Four copies of Lizard Soldier Conroe. Um, when I call it to rear guard, I reveal a grade three. I add one card with Overlord in the name to the hand, and then I discard a card. And then I can retire him, and my Vanguard gets the effect. When it attacks, I counter charge two. And since I have a restanding Vanguard, I'm more than likely going to counter charge one. I always wondered what this card did. Because I've seen you play it, but I've never actually and then seen its ability used. The Sentinel Perfect Guards. Um, it's supposed to be four copies of Protect Orb Dragon, but I'm poor, so I've got three Protect Orb Dragons and one Rampart Dragon. They're all Flame Dragon Kagaros, and these counter flip. I mean, counter charge, which is kind of helpful. I have counter charge heavy deck that I can. Um, counter Blast heavy deck, so I can counter charge. Protect your orbs. <laughs> It does. And then off to the grade twos with arguably the best grade two in the deck. Emperor Dragon Nahal. Emperor Dragon Knight Nahal. Excuse me. At G break one, it gets plus 2,000 if I have an Overlord Vanguard. And then the added effect of when my grade four or greater Vanguard attacks, it gets plus 5k. So he comes with his own triggers. And since we have restanding grade four vanguards in the legend and the ace, he's going to get plus 10 at times. So he gets really big really fast. Then. Get big. Get big. Dot deck. Uh, and then four copies of Berserk Lord Dragon. Uh, the original Berserk Lord. I mean, the original Berserk Dragon was my favorite grade two. So I have to run Berserk Lord Dragon. Um, at Counter Blast 1, every time my grade 4 or greater Vanguard attacks in G1, I get to retire a unit. So since we have a restanding Vanguard, we can retire two, which is really fun. Wiping boards. And then to finish off the great Legion Mate, Dragonic Neoflame. When I call it the rear guard, I get the effect to where I can Counter Blast 1, and if a rear guard in the same column as this unit dies, I get to um, pay the cost. And then I get to blow it up. So it knocks out an entire column. And then off to our great threes. And speaking of which, it's the great. Um, I really think the great's still really good. Um, the fact that it's a restanding vanguard that also has legion that can reshuffle triggers into my deck is really good. And um, it's personally my favorite version of Dragonic Overlord. And Dragonic Overlord being my favorite unit in, t in the entire game. It's pretty cool. Um, 
Also, shouts out to you, um, Kyle, for getting me the Legion Rare for both of these. Always here for you. Yep. And then finally, the linchpin of the deck, Draconic Overlord of the Legend. This isn't even my final form. Correct, because at G at Generation Break 2, I counterblast one and pitch a Nuffer Grade 3 Flame Dragon from my hand, and it becomes its own stride. It gets plus 15k, plus a grade, and plus a drive. And then, if it attacks rear guard, I get the discard three cards to restand him. And then, on ride, you counterblast one, soul blast one, and search for a flan dragon added to your hand. And I thought, when I first saw that ability, that it wouldn't be that impressive, but the added card advantage is really good, considering that, like, three or four of your deck is flan dragon. For the real for realsies though, that should be a slaver text. Like this isn't this is even my final one. Yeah, yep, that should be a yep, yep, yep. And then the extra deck that's currently at eight right now. <laughs> that's an extra deck. Um, Vortex Desire. Uh, it's the first ride that puts us at GB two, and if it hits, which more than likely it doesn't, I get to retire greater or less rear guards equal to the number of cards in my vanguard circle, which counts as himself and the heart card under it. And if I'm in Legion, I get the retire three because I have two hearts and the card, so it's really dumb. Next, Draconic Overlord, the Ace. Ace. So he is the second of our Grade Four Restanders, the first one being the Legend. And I counter blast two. I G Sona blast him. Flip up one of the other copies, and he loses a drive, but. After the time he hits the van or attacks the vanguard, he gets to restand if I discard an overlord and another card. And since Undo searches overlord, um, it's pretty easy to get off. So, this is really cool. And then finally, um, Transcendent Divine Dragon, um, Novel Vaguely Express. Like,. This this card is dumb. It's straight. Hit <laughs> G break two. I get the counter blast one and G persona blast one, and then you can't guard a grade ones. And if you're at five damage, all your triggers are nullified, because which includes you can't heal. Because that's fair. What I like to do is put myself at five damage and make sure my opponent is higher than me, or it really doesn't matter whether they're at less damage than me or not, because at that point they can't heal no matter what. So. <laughs> It's it's really, really stupid. I don't understand why they made this card, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's in my deck. <laughs> you have to get five damage to win. So stupid. I mean, they can guard. <laughs> At five damage, your opponent loses. I mean, they can guard. Yeah, so that way they can lose next turn. Yep. Because <laughs> hand advantage is kind of a thing in this game. Yep, yep. Well, any other comments? Flame dragons. Flame dragons. Flame dragons. What was that one motto? Who was the one who had the motto something? Or oh, yeah. Um, Conroe? Yes. His flavor text is literally praise... If I can find Conroe. Yeah, right here. His flavor text is literally praise the overlord or perish. And that's basically what the deck was about. All hail the overlord. Cool. All right, guys. Well, this was Mr. Neo Dark Guy's deck profile. Mr. Neo Dark Guy. I like that. I thought you would. Yeah. On Dragonic Overlord all the Dragonic Overlords. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll be back at you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad and... Neo Dark Guy. And, we'll and, and, and Dragonic Overlord. And Dragonic Overlord. Yeah, yeah. Remember, it's worship Dragonic Overlord or perish. Catch you later, guys. Yep. See ya.